Okay. Hello, I'm your counselor, Li Chong. You can just call me Li. Hi, my name is Zhe Yu, a 16 years old boy from China, and I recently moved to Singapore. Oh, welcome. Mm, I will take notes um, during our counseling, and the counseling will be recorded, but I will not share with anyone, okay? Okay. Mm, okay, so which issue do you want to discuss today? Well, I think I have been under a lot of pressure lately. This is my first time to leave my parents and to come to Singapore by myself. I feel like everything is new and I have to the new environment. So I'm so anxious that I can sleep every night. Mm, sounds very stressful. So now we want to find out how stressful you are, um, it was for you. Mm, if we take zero as no stress and 10 as very stressful, what do you think your stress level is right now? Nine. Yeah, I don't think that I can really do it anymore. Every day when I go to school, I see so many people I don't know, and I no one cares about me. I feel like a clown. Lots of spending my last year of secondary school. In such an environment, it's a terrible thing for me. I have no way. Hmm. Well, so let's think about it now. If you were at school uh, with your classmates, what situation would um, happen that make you feel um, it's a very terrible thing? Uh, it would be basically I think they all have a friend and then no one wants to talk to them. They will talk bad about me behind my back. And then it is, I don't know what they think of me. So I just don't feel like I can stay with them. Yeah. Mm. So you were very concerned about how you uh, feel when you are with your classmates. And so what did you feel when you were uh, with your classmates before? Uh, well, I felt very anxious. It was like I just said, I didn't know what they thought of me. So I didn't know if they like me or not. Then I will think that they actually hate me as a newcomer from somewhere else. And then they get together and say bad things about me and point at me like that. Okay. So you just said that you would be bad with them and feel that your classmate will talk badly about you. Right. Mm, well, can you tell me a little bit uh, about whatever happened um, that would make you think in this way? Mm, I mean, in the past. Mm. I'm not really sure. My former classmates also isolated me and said bad things about me. Hmm. So let's think about it again. Had it ever happened in the past that under mm, what situation you find that your classmate didn't say bad things about you? Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let's do an exercise now. Suppose you hold a picture. Um, this picture is the group photo of your current classmates. Um, there's an old picture. And now we are taking a new picture and then you add a part of it. So in this process, what kind of a way do you want to spend time with them? Um, and which position do you want to stand next to? Or who do you want to stand next to? I think maybe 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 I will give a try. Uh, maybe I'd like to stand to the side, but not a far corner, uh, mm -hmm. because I'm not sure how they feel about it. Yeah, maybe maybe I can change myself first. Uh, I could go ahead and uh, try to get along with them and then see what their reaction is. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think that might be a better way to do. Mm, yeah, that's very good. I think if you find that you have some um, negative feelings or thoughts when you interact with your classmates, uh, we can change uh, those negative narratives into positive ones. Um, that's it. We uh, replace the negative statement uh, with the positive statements. Yeah, so what is a positive statement? Hmm, a very good question. For example, uh, it, like you just said, I, can, I can't uh, stay with my classmates because they will uh, talk bad things behind me back. Uh, let's change it to I can try to get along with my classmate at school or people might not judge me or um, there will be some good comments too. Well, okay, I think that's fine. Okay, also, um, I did like to you um, like you to tell me more about the what kind of things uh, would make you feel more anxious and have some um, negative emotions? Uh, well, actually, uh, this part, I don't know. I think, well, uh, it seems it's always been those points. Uh, uh, and I don't know what to think of me when I'm with them, and I'm not sure if they are they are going to talk uh talk bad about about me behind my back. Uh, basically, it's all those thoughts. Uh, but now I I resort it. I don't know. I just think actually. I don't know exactly how it's going to be. So in fact, um, could be choose be not what I think it is. Mm. I think the concern that you just had might be something that you need to look at again. So let's do um, think about the, um, what kind of things we can do. Um, Let's comparison. Let's say uh, you follow your normal average Euro way of getting along with your classmates, or maybe you would make some changes, then come and see what kind of difference uh, such a change would make. Mm. Mm, that's it. There are some times when you act at like your normal do, or sometimes you when you make some new tries to see if your relationship uh, with your classmate 
will become a little different. Yeah, well, I think it should work. Mm, I'm thinking that you should want to interact with everyone and keep a good relationship and not want to uh, let out of it. Yes, right. Um, and I want to know another thing. Are you worried about that people might hate you? Yes, I'm quite afraid of that. Mm, so is this fear uh, related to worry that um, they will reject you and exclude you? Mm, like maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be a, a possibility. Uh, could could it be possible that I'm afraid they are reject me? So I just think it's better than I reject them first. Hmm. Yeah. That also a possibility. So before we end today, let's talk about um, homework that you can do afterwards. Um, that's it. Once you feel that um, you may, might have um, someone might say um, bad things about you or uh, not linking you or rejecting you or even hating you. Can you tell yourself sometimes um, something might not be the case mm, or is there some other explanation? Well, I think I should be able to. Well, I suggest that you can write down all the negative thoughts and feelings that come to your mind in, an, uh, in a net notebook um, let's write down those negative feelings first and then write a, write the positive statements next to it. Then we will um, think about whether they are some other possibility uh, as other possible explanations and write them down in this notebook. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I think I can do. Mm, okay. You can also take notes when you're doing this and um, observe if this kind of exercise have some effect on how you're getting along with your classmates um, or if it will um, have some um um, effect to improve how you communicate with your uh, classmates a little bit? Mm, I don't know. Um, but should I say I will give it a try and this time so that I know what kind of impressions they have of me? Yes, good. Um, what you just say is a very appropriate um, and um, positive the declarative sentence. So how do you feel now? Yeah, I feel good about myself and I feel that we could continue this conversation for another time if we want to. Mm, great, good. Well, Mm, thank you for coming in to see me. My pleasure. Okay, well, thank you. Okay.